there's several ways to influence people. First one is force. Okay, we go from worst to best. Don't worry. Yeah? <laughs> it's going to get better. <laughs> By force. Okay, I don't have to explain this very, very much. Cohesive. Uh, if you don't do this, I will arrest you. Okay, it works. But I don't know if you call that influence. <laughs> Intimidation. You better do it. Otherwise, you know, still not really uh, an amazing way. Uh, that's my way or the highway. Okay, you follow me, you do my way, otherwise you're dead. Okay? Manipulation. There's always a winner and a loser. Do we know people like this? Fortunately, we do. Positional. I'm your boss, you better do what I say. Does work, but not for very long. Exchange. That is interesting. That's the win-win. I'll help you, you help me. Okay, that's, is that influence in a limited way, maybe, okay? It still serves us a little bit. In this case, we both win, okay, there's no loser. That's already a bit better. Now, let's go to the pinnacle of influence. Bef the one before last, persuasion. I can argue, I can explain. This is good, this is good for you, and we explain, we convince the person. That might work, it does work, okay? I'm, 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 I have been for 20 years sales. I'm a sales director as well. In sales, we use a lot of that. But there is a better technique in sales, in reaching out in every way and we coming to the pinnacle of influence. Respect. If you inspire respect, you don't even have to argue. You don't even have to, 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 to persuade people. They will be inspired by your life and they will follow you. 